Yo guys, Tanmay here for Simple Snippets, back with another video tutorial on C++ programming, especially the object-oriented programming part. So in this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about the topic on pure virtual functions. Now in the previous video tutorial, we saw the theory about virtual functions and abstract classes and we also saw two different programs. So we also saw the theoretical as well as the programmatical part of virtual functions. So if you have missed that video, you might want to check it out because if you don't know what virtual function is, that's the video where I've explained theory as well as program and I've explained it in a uh, very simple way so make sure you check that video if you don't know what virtual functions are because we are not going to be talking a lot about it in this video we are just going to take a look at what pure virtual functions are which is a different type of virtual function and will not go a lot in theory because it's pretty simple and it's pretty small in terms of theory so we'll straight away move, move into the programming part so a little bit about pure virtual functions and abstract classes so let me just read out the theory and you'll understand it because it's in very simple language. So sometimes implementation of all functions cannot be provided in a base class because we don't know the implementation. So in such class, we do not have any definition or we do not have any implementation of the function. We just have the declaration. So such class becomes an abstract class. So a pure virtual function or, a, or an abstract function in C++ is a virtual function for which we do not have an implementation. So we only declare it. So I'll show you how the syntax looks like in a minute. But let's first go through the theory. So a pure virtual function is declared by assigning zero in the declaration and some important facts. So a class is abstract if it has at least one pure virtual function. We can have pointers and references of abstract class type, but you can see the last point abstract class cannot be instantiated. And one more important point, if we do not override the pure virtual function in the derived class, then derived class also becomes abstract class. So with this, we already discussed in terms of theory in the previous video. That's why I was telling you that you might want to check that out, but we did not see a program on pure virtual functions so this video is mostly for programming part for pure virtual functions and also this involves inheritance so if you don't know what inheritance is there is one more video wherein I have extensively covered that topic so this was just the basic theory for pure virtual functions and we've already seen this as I mentioned so let's let's just jump into the programming part okay so quickly open up your dc++ id and just type the program along with me and you can see i've already written down the basic structure so let's first create a class so i'm going to give you an example so for pure virtual functions let's say you have a class which is a base class named shape and inside of that you want to create a function get area and then you want to derive a class from the shape say for example you want to derive some different shapes class for example rectangle square circle triangle and whatever so in that case when you're deriving those classes from shape you get those properties for in the public and protected part so you already know what inheritance is and how it works so you want to declare a function or create a function get area and that get area should also come into all the derived classes but in the base class that is the shape class you cannot have an implementation of get area because you don't know what shape it is then how would you calculate the area so for rectangle we know the area is length into breadth for circle we know it is pi r square but for a generic base class whose shape is also not defined we don't know we just have named it as a shape so I'll just say class shape for a class whose name is just shape we don't know actually what shape it is so for that we cannot have a implementation of the function so in that case we make that class an abstract class by having a pure virtual function and I'll show you how to create that so inside the public section I create that virtual function I write virtual void get area and instead of opening and closing curly braces we do not write that we just say equal to zero. So this is how we create a pure virtual function. So virtual keyword is already there. But when you say equal to zero, this means that there is no implementation of this function in this class. And this is a pure virtual function. So let me just first save this. I'll say PVF pure virtual function and in the points of the theory we saw that we cannot instantiate an object of this class. So we cannot create an object of this class. So if I write shape obj1 and if I save this and if I try to compile this it will give me an error so you can see error cannot declare where variable obj1 to be of abstract type shape so now this has become an abstract class so we did not type in any anywhere saying that it is an abstract class so we do not have to explicitly type in abstract keyword since there is a pure virtual function in this class it is by default an abstract class now as I told you we want to create a class which is derived out of the shape so I'll say class circle colon and I'll publicly inherit shape class. So inside this, I'm going to override this get area. So inside this, I don't have to again write in virtual. So I just have to say void get area. 
and then inside this what I'll do is I'll ask for input so I'll say C out enter circle radius I'll declare a radius variable int r then I'll take that input from user C in r and lastly I'll print the area so I'll say C out area of circle is colon and you know the area of circle formula is 3.14 which is the value of pi pi r square right so multiply r two times so r star r let's just save this inside the main function we'll create circle object circle c1 and i'll say c1 dot get area let's save this and let's see if this works properly okay we missed out a semicolon over here after the class again save this compile and run so there you go our program compiled and ran successfully it is asking for radius i'll just enter one so the answer should be 3.14 so there you go area of circle is 3.14 because 3.14 into 1 into 1 would give you the same so what ha exactly happened over here is this get, get area in the base class got overrided by this get get area that we defined in the derived class now if i would have not overrode that function if if there was nothing inside circle then again this class will also become abstract because this pure virtual function would be inherited as it is over here because we don't have our own definition so the same pure virtual function would come over here which means that we won't be able to create an object of circle class as well so let's see if that is true now what i did is i just erased this entire function that we overrode let's try to save this and let's see if this object can be created it should throw an error but let's see how it works i'll go and compile and run and there you go now you can see even the circle class it is saying that it is of abstract type so you cannot create an object because since we did not overrode that function this pure virtual function came as it is over here in the public inheritance so that's why we have to always override and it's not necessary that we always have to override just that if we don't then again this class will also become an abstract class similarly we can have one more class over here class rectangle you can say public shape and inside the public part we can again have void get area then inside this we can ask for input from user for length and breadth to calculate the area we will say enter enter length and breadth to calculate area of rectangle then i will say int l comma b we will take c in l again c in b and we'll say area of rectangle is l star b that is length into breadth just save this now we can create rectangle r1 r1 dot get area save this you can comment this circle object let's see if rectangle object works go to compile and run there you go you can see the output enter length and breadth to calculate area of rectangle so i'll say length to be 5 bread to be 2 5 to are 10 there you go area of rectangle is 10 also one more thing that i wanted to tell you that in overriding the prototype or the signature remains the same so if the virtual void function had no parameters even your get area inside the derived class cannot have any parameter so if you create a parameter over here let's say int a so this get area will be treated different from this and that's not how overriding works so in overriding the function has to be exactly the same only the implementation or inside code can be different that is the implementation can be different so yeah this was a program on pure virtual function and abstract class and i wanted to cover the program part we already discussed the theory in the previous video tutorial as well as in this video tutorial but the programming part was left so i thought i should cover it up and that's it for this video guys i hope the concept of pure virtual functions is clear now and if you have any comments or doubts you can always put them in the comment section if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel because there are a lot of video tutorials coming soon on this channel and you'll get notified and you can always turn on the notification as well so yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial peace